Hi, this is Sarah, the Stitchin' Mommy, and it's Monday, September 24th, and I'm here for a weekly update. Not a ton to show, but just what I've been working on stitching-wise and what I'm going to work on this coming week, which is what you're here for. <laughs> so first off, I want to share the winner of my free chart, The Falling Leaves, which also includes this Enjoy Nature, I think is what they're calling this one. And I did Random Number Generator, and there were 17 entries, and it actually chose number one. So Victoria Coleman, let me know um, your address. I will comment on your comment. Um, hopefully you see that. Um, I've had YouTube not tell me when someone comments on my comment with a giveaway. So hopefully you see that, and if anybody knows her, let her know. She won. Um, and let me know that your mailing address and I'll pop it in the mail to you. And last time I talked a lot about not starting anything in 2019 and should I or shouldn't I start the two mirabilias that I was considering, Summer Queen and Lily of the Woods. I got a pretty wide variety of opinions on the matter. Let's see, there was one more in this category. The majority of you went ahead and said, actually that was not this category. The majority of you said, start everything. <laughs> start it now so you won't regret it in, while you're not starting anything. Um, have it so that you, uh, start it so that you have it when you want it. Those types of comments. There were about at least 10 of you who said that. Two said, start Lily of the Woods, I want to start it with you. Two said, start Summer Queen, I want to start it with you. And there were about four people who said, don't start either one of them, focus on what you've got, see how much you can finish. And I appreciate all of you. I appreciate everybody's comments. It was very interesting. Like a day or two after I filmed my last video, I became more and more convinced that I don't want to do any, any more big starts um, before my year of, start, year of no starts. So I will for sure do the two gifts that I'm going to be doing, but, um, and I have one other itty bitty little gift that I am considering too, and I'll probably have to go ahead and start that before the end of the year also. It might even give it this year, too, so, um, that wouldn't even be an issue, but I was realizing I've just started two Mirabilias this summer, and I already had a few, like three or four already before that started. I don't need any more mirror, mirror bilious right now. <laughs> if I want to see progress on the things that I have, I need to focus on the things that I have. So I am re really strongly leaning towards not starting either one of those mirror bilious, and instead I could use them as motivation in 2020 to reward myself for having a year of no starts and presumably a few finishes. So I'm hoping that this coming year will be a year of reclaiming my stitching for me because floss tube is really good at you know sending you off in all these directions of all these new designers and new patterns and new everything that you really want to do oh so and so stitching that it's so pretty oh so and so stitching that I want to do that too which is fun and fine but I have a bunch started and I need to and a bunch that I started before floss tube as well and I need to focus more on those and get some of those worked on. And I know I have a ridiculous number of full coverage pieces, but it would be nice to at least get some page finishes next year. And I'm kind of thinking it might be fun to somehow, I'm not sure how to do this with the theme theme elements with the with full coverage fanatics, but I would like to maybe work on something until I get to a page finish or until I get to a full finish, depending on the type of design. Um, more of a goal-based rotation. Um, except for the projects that I'm going to bring out one day every month. Um, so we'll see um, what I end up doing. I'm going to probably try that style for the rest of this, this year, starting in October. So we'll see how I like it. Um, and in the meantime, if you wanted to start either of those projects with me, you will either need to wait until 2020 or go ahead and start them, and I'll enjoy watching you work on them, and I'll join you later. 
either way is fine with me. I won't be offended if you start them without me. Um, if you really want to start them, go for it. So, I know a lot of you said, you know, a few of you said that you were going to try not starting anything either, or at least limiting your starts, and several of you said you would cheer me on, but there's no way you could do it, and that's fine too. <laughs> I don't expect very many people to commit to that. It's kind of a tall order, but the more I've considered it, the more I'm very strongly loving this idea. So I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see love on all my pieces and um, kind of see how many things I can get done. And I know a lot of my projects are big, but if I'm not distracting myself with more big things, there's a chance some of them could at least see significant progress or finish. So that's that. And I think that's all I had on that. So what I worked on this past week, first I worked more on my Twisted Band sampler and I showed you this. Um, I had already worked on it for one day when I filmed my last video. And this week was really crazy busy and the weekend was busy. <clears throat> Didn't get as much stitching time as I sometimes do, but it was maybe like a very little during the day stitching except for my travel stitching. Um, and so regular stitching saw maybe a range from like 45 minutes to an hour and a half in the evening depending on the night. So some stitching but not a ton. So this is what it looked like last time. And here is where I got to in those next couple days. I finished this specialty stitch band all the way which is pretty and then I got to start on the cross stitches and this is a little bit more than half of the band like the next color goes to like here it's not quite as big as this band so when this color is finished in the cross stitch band the rest of the band will go a little bit faster and I think my lighting is a little bit off right now but that's all right so that's where that is now and I really am enjoying this it's very fun even the cross stitches like, as much as I got this for the specialty stitches, the cross stitches are pretty too, because it's just really, really well designed, and the, um, the elements are really pretty. And the color flow is very nice. I mean, they're not necessarily colors I would have chosen on their own, like they're burnt orange, especially, like, take it or leave it, but when it goes in the in the flow of the color gradient, it, it works and it looks really nice. So I am happy with that. We'll be excited to see that one come out again some more. And maybe if I do like a goal based rotation on this, I would work on it until that cross stitch band was finished and then maybe also the next specialty stitch band um, before I put it away, that kind of, that kind of concept for a goal based rotation. The next thing I worked on was my sh ah! my Chatelaine <laughs> Winter Wonderland band sampler, and again I had more to do on this than time, and there's no way I would have gotten to those animals unless I skipped around a lot, and I kind of want to complete down as I go. So there's still more to do in the little scene, but this is what it looked like before, and here it is now. So when I um, pulled this out, I worked on the Gloriana in this tree and this tree <coughs> and the rest of this tree. So all of the Gloriana, it's the color forest, it's also the color in this border. The Gloriana is a really pretty dark green slash brown with, you know, a good, a good amount of variation. Um, so that's, and of course it's a silk, so it's heavenly to work with. So I really enjoyed that and it was nice just to focus on the one color and then when I was done with that I came back up here to the house and did some um, some of the brown in the roof and the black. The, some of that brown came down here. Um, oh I finished a color in this tree. So this tree is all finished except for probably some more white. All the white in this is silk lame braid which is sparkly. So you can't really tell on the video but all the white is sparkly in person, it, which is basically like sparkly silk. <laughs> what is not to love about that? I really love silk lame. So that is 
a lot of fun. And so I won't, there's like the deer I think is right here and like the squirrel is right here. So it's really close. There's a little bird feeder right here. Um, but I do want to finish the house and these trees before I move on to the other things. So um, there will be more work to do when this comes out again before I get to those cute little animals. So, but it was fun to work on. Um, even though three days didn't see a ton of progress. And then I pulled out my Adventure Awaits uh, Stitch Along, Mystery Stitch Along. They re released Clue 4 on the 22nd, really late on the 21st for me. Um, so it was Australia slash, uh, what's that called? We're like, um, there's a name for it. I can't think of it at the moment, but this, um, this area over here with like Indonesia and stuff, um, that area, there's a dolphin, there's Sydney Opera House, a boomerang, and there's a bridge and I, there is this like Sydney Harbor Bridge and I don't know if that's it. Um, I haven't actually been on the Facebook page to see what all these are. There's a, a building right here that I'm not 100% sure what it is, so I have to look that up too, and Antarctica, and it was just snowflakes, so I charted myself a little penguin, that's the start of my little penguin, because I needed a penguin on Antarctica. I have a little girl who loves penguins, so I had to do that. So I am almost done, I finished all of the outlines to the continents, and then I'm working on the black, and so almost done with this frame here, and then I'll, I can move on to the other colors. So there's that right now, and I decided, originally I told you I was going to work on this in the car um, once this rotation is over, which it is now. I just gave that two days. <clears throat> However, I would like to finish, I would like to focus on my Little House Needleworks piece with the potential of giving it back to Shelly when I see her at the retreat um, this weekend. So I'm going to hold off on this until I finish June the, my little I'll show you that in a minute when I finish that then I'll pull this out and to get it done before the next clue comes out at the end of October um, I think I have plenty of time for that so it'll it, I won't work on this probably the rest of the week um, but maybe next week um, it'll come back out for travel pe stitching until that clue is finished and I guess I could do these now since I was just talking about them. This, these are these are the ones I'm talking about. I finished May, yay! And now I'm working on June. So I realized I was I was hesitating to to think how long these were gonna take me um, last time, and then I realized I'm in the car a lot longer than I was last year because I have two pickup times for school. So I pick up my daughter from kindergarten, and then there's like a gap between when my older boys get picked up and before she had homework we would just come home in between but now it's easier for her to just do her homework in the car and then have some you know iPad time while we're waiting and in the meantime I can stitch so I help her a little bit we read sometimes so it's not the whole time but it is a lot more than I used to have in the car so it is going these are going faster than I expected so I finished May pretty quickly um, this is what that looked like last week, and here it is finished. Turned out super cute. I like the kind of floral lacy border, that's fun, and I had this flower had a red center, like this one. The whole thing was completely charted differently than the picture. The picture had white letters with a green stem for the Y and a white flower with a yellow center. My white doesn't show up that well. It's looking, it looks more like that, like <clears throat> on this, because it's like light gray fabric. So I didn't want the May to be in white. I didn't think it would show up. So I made the May blue and I was going to have this little white flower match this little white flower with a red center, but it looked really odd with like why is there a red dot right there? Because you couldn't hardly see the white petals. So I just switched it out, stuck with the yellow center, and then it kind of just fades in. 
looks normal. <laughs> so that's May. So that is done. And I thought I would also share with you uh, March and April, which are the other ones that I finished that you haven't seen in a little while. So now I've got three done. And I'm planning to probably make these into little, little flat folds that I'll sit on an easel and switch out. So that's kind of the plan. And this is my start on June. June is this one with the bowl of cherries and the bees. And this is where I'm at with that one. Um, I'm doing them like around rather than up and down or sideways to try to get them to look more like cherries. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's hard to kind of tell, but that's just my start on June. And hopefully I can get it to a point where I can give this back to Shelly this weekend but if not she's she's not antsy to have it like she'll be all right but I would like to give it back to her sooner than later I also have January February and July and August we're um, we're kind of sharing these so she she's sharing them with me and then when I'm done we're gonna send them off to Rita Marie to stitch them so it's it's kind of a big delayed stitch along <laughs> So that's those. So hopefully I can finish June before too long. It might it might take me more than a week, but um, whenever that one's done, I'll work on um, my adventure weights, finish that, and then I'll go back to the months again. Now, going forward, oh, just kidding. My Heaven and Earth designs. I have worked on this every day, even yesterday. Um, not yet today. So this is what it looked like last time, my furry animals freebie. And here it is now. Just a little bit more. And it's, that's pretty good, I guess. It's hard to, hard to get it all perfect. But um, really enjoying this still. I kind of am getting more annoyed with having to work on it a little bit every day and take time away from my other ones, but I am liking that it's coming along, you know, and it's going to be finished pretty soon. So there's that. Um, but it makes me wonder if I really want to commit to daily stitching next year. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It is fun to continually see progress, and I was thinking of doing my waterfall and Yosemite piece like this next year to go along with the new challenges in Full Coverage Fanatics. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm still debating, because it's it takes time away from your main piece that day. So some people who are more monogamous stitchers, they'll choose one piece for 90 days, and that's all they work on for 90 days. I can't do that with 50 whips, so I want to, well I could, but I don't want to because <laughs> I want to see progress on everything else, so I guess it is what it is. We'll see. We'll see what happens when this is done if I feel like, I might try starting, like maybe do one 90 day chunk on Waterfall and see how it goes, doing maybe like a thread a day or something like that and um, see if I like that. And if I can't stand it, then I just won't do any more. So we'll see. Today my is my daily piece on my my daily rotation on my son's middle son's piece. This is Dragon Ride by Teresa Wensler. Used to be on Patterns Online, which is where I found it. It is no longer available there, so I'm not 100% sure where you can find it now, if anywhere. Um, this is not worked on yet. <laughs> so this is where I'm at now. This is where it looked like the last time you saw it. I'm not sure what to work on today, but probably his head because I think I want to get it to be more finished. So, but maybe his wing or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my son what he wants me to work on. So we'll see. That will see a little bit more love today. Then I'm going to pull out my niece's Nora Corbett fairy and start that and work on that for three days. And I finally got a conversion pulled 
this morning. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, I have to have something to show you guys. So here's my letter H, Nora Corbett Fairy. And it, I'm going to do one of these for each of my nieces. I have eight nieces. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven nieces and my daughter, who's the youngest of all of them. I'll probably make one for her too. When she, but they're going to be graduation, high school graduation presents. This niece is my oldest niece, and she's graduating in next at the end of next school year. So I have almost two years to do this. Should be done in plenty of time. Whenever I'm done with it, I will move on to the next niece and give that one day every month until that one's done. So the following, so she's a junior in high school now. So next year is her senior year and then she'll graduate two more years after that is um, the next due date for these nieces but there's two that year um, but even still I think I'm I have plenty of time so this is kind of what I came up with hopefully I can show you this pretty nicely ah, they're all bobbins so I can't really hold it up perfectly for you There we go. That's kind of what I came up with for the conversion. Um, this one is for her dress. It's called Mustard Shades by Victorian Motto. These I'm not 100% sure of. Eve's Leaves is what was called for, and I actually had that one. And I went with Baby Spinach for the darker color. It's not quite as dark as I was wanting, but it, it goes really well with the other one, so I think I might stick with that. Old Salem Spell for the letter, and then the same colors for the wings and her hair and skin that I did on my S Fairy. I just stuck with all the same conversion on that one. And this is Water Lily Linen by um, probably Winchell, because it looks, it feels kind of stiff. <laughs> so that's the called for linen, and I have... all the called for beads and Krynik, so I'll do that. And I will probably um, bling up her wings as well. If you remember, on my S, I added, um, I did one strand of sauce and one strand of blending filament for her wings. Um, and I'm tempted on this one to try two strands of floss and one strand of blending filament because I realized after the fact that I think this might have been what I did on my Midsummer Night's Fairy by Mirabilia to see how that looks. Because I noticed with my S Fairy when there was an equal amount of thread and blending filament it was it changed the color significantly to be quite bluer. A lot bluer than I expected because the blending filament had a lot of blue in it. Um, so if I do two strands of my chosen thread and one strand of blending filament it will be somewhat sparkly but won't change the color of the intended you know intended colors quite as much so I'm gonna try that on this one and see how that goes I'll probably do what I did on my S and I'll find the center and then count up and work from the top down so that's my plan so I'll start her tomorrow and work on her for three days, and then it will be time for my stitching retreat. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my Snow Queen to the stitching retreat. So here's where this is at now. Almost to the bottom, there's a little bit more snow down here, but I've got holes in her dress that I need to fill in and a little bit more sparkle to add, a little bit more of the tree to finish, and the snow on the ground. So there's a good amount, but it does work up fairly quickly. This is on 14 count blue, light blue Ada that I got from my grandma's stash that she gave to me. It's, as you can see, quite tight on the edge, just like a half inch margin, but I'll probably be framing it myself, so I'm okay with that. I'll make it work however it needs to be. Um, so this will be coming with me to the retreat and I'll work on that for three days. There, it's also gonna see four days at the beginning of October. Not immediately, not till the third. Um, 
So that will see a lot of love in the next few days, or the next couple weeks. So that'll be fun. And I think that's all I need to show you. Um, so at the retreat, I would just, this morning I was just starting to think I need to write down what I need to bring. I'm going to bring some snacks and tea and stitching and I'm not sure. <laughs> I suppose I need clothes. <laughs> so it'll be fun to go there and meet some people and stitch together, see what other, everybody else is working on. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I will be able to share with you about that tomorrow or next week if I am totally having a retreat hangover next Monday um, you may I may not film until Tuesday but sometime beginning of next week I'll come and share with you what I've done and how the retreat went I don't know that I'll do much in the way of filming um, unless Shelly has something she wants to film on my camera has I mean my phone has very little space um, it's dying <laughs> so I can't film on that I don't want to bring my iPad because my kids are gonna need that while we're gone well, I'm gone. And then my regular camera is okay, but you can't really see what you're showing because the, the viewfinder is on the opposite side of the lens. So, because it's a regular point and shoot camera, I use that for vlogs and stitch with me's and things like that, but it doesn't really work for a face in front of the camera type situation. So, I will be rooming with Shelly, Key X Stitch, and so if she has a phone or you know, device that she wants to do like a joint floss tube. Um, we may do something like that and then I can direct you to that if she posts that on her website or her floss tube. If not, I will just talk about it and show you what progress I made and talk about who I met and all of that. So in the meantime, have a wonderful week and enjoy your stitching, whatever you plan on doing and Victoria Coleman, let me know um, your mailing address and I'll get that falling leaves in the mail to you. And I will talk to you later. Happy stitching!